everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm really glad that you guys and girls can join me today. So this is actually the third of a three-part series which I started uh, two weeks ago. So in the first part we looked at actually a head animation, so a head change, how to animate that using keyframes. And then last week we looked at facial expressions. Today we're going to use that same head term to look at the eye or more specifically the eye mask. In other words, to how to do a custom blink. We look at why that's important and why you can't just use the standard blink. As usual, I'm going to start off with a little video clip to show you exactly what we're going to be learning today and then we'll jump straight into the tutorial where I'll take you step by step on the process that I use to create those things. Enjoy! <laughs> So we've already done the head direction change and then last week facial expressions. Today we're going to focus on creating custom eye blinks as well as changing the direction of the eyes. Before we do the animation, in case you never watched the last two tutorials, we're going to start with the project settings. So I do have this saved as my standard login settings, but I've uh, undone that so I can show you guys what I normally do. I make sure that my modified panel, I move over to the left hand side to ensure that I get a bigger viewport. That's the first thing I do. And in my actual project settings, uh, if you don't know how to bring that up, it's control shift P. Uh, I go down there and I make sure that I expand my animation timeline from uh, what is a default 1800 to 3000 just to ensure that I can do a longer animation without being cut off. And in the third and final thing, and probably the most important thing is I change my settings from 60 frames per second uh, to a more movie style frames per second, which is 24 frames per second. Hey, oh why, Alistair, would I want to create my own custom eye blinks when iClone comes with its own range of built-in eye blinks? And that's a very good question. And that's a question I'd like to answer before we get into the actual animation. Okay, so let's do a quick comparison between my custom blinks versus the auto blink. I'm going to start off by dragging and dropping one of my custom blinks onto our character here. As you can see, I've got a quite a few different variations of blinks. Uh, all tune style, either long blinks, uh, double blinks, short blinks. I'm going to grab one of these quick blinks and just drag and drop that onto our character. Let's have a look and see what that looks like quickly. Maybe my quick blink was too quick. Uh, let's just slow this down by clicking on the by frame and then replaying it. All right. Okay, let's try one more. I'm going to try my standard blink here. I'm just going to double click on it so it can be applied to my character. Let's have a look at that one. We'll take a closer look at my custom blink again when we do the comparison between the two blinks. But for now, let's do the auto blink. And inside the animation tab, we're going to be using the face puppet tool to do our auto blinking. So for our exercise, we're going to use the Camilla face profile. You'll find that on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, we're going to just focus on the eyes and the muscles around the eyes. So we'll just disable the chin and the mouth for our particular animation. Once you open up the, the window, you'll see in the top right hand corner, you have the option of auto blink. You can either enable it or disable it. In our case, we set it to, to normal and that's how we're going to be doing our auto blink. So to do the auto blink is very easy. All you're going to do is hit the red record button when we're ready and then hit the space bar. Once we hit the space bar, we are recording live in the timeline. And all we're going to do now is just left click every single time we want to blink. I'll do that a couple of times. Okay, let's have a look at what our animation looks like. That blink just looks totally dead to me. Let's compare the two blinks by looking at each one closely. Here's the custom blink. Here's the auto blink. I slowed it down by 50%. Let's look at the two of them together on the same screen. Not sure if you can notice it, but if you look at it very carefully, you'll see that the auto blink only focuses on the eyes. Let's do a thorough analysis. Let's start with the brows. Notice that the brows don't only come down when the eyelids close, but it also compresses, which is the way a muscle should work. Now let's look at the eyelids. You'll notice that the top eyelids don't come all the way down. It only comes down about plus minus 80%. And then the bottom eyelids meets the top eyelids plus minus 20% of the way. The other difference that's very obvious is the cheeks and the nose. Notice how the cheeks pushes up and the nose scrunches, which makes the face feel alive. The other subtle difference, and you've got to look very carefully to see this, is that the one eye blinks faster than the other. I didn't make it too obvious. I mean, we're talking about a microsecond, but look at the left eye compared to the right eye. The one eye actually opens up quicker than the other eye does. And then the other difference that's not so obvious is that the eyes actually close when the eyelids closes. Did you see that? 
These are all small differences that when combined makes a massive difference to the facial expression. The face seems more alive on the custom eye blink than it does on the auto blink. That's why I say the auto blink is dead. We'll be using the face key tool to be able to do our blinks. So once you open up the face key editor, you'll find an eye blink muscle control. Uh, we'll be manipulating the left and the right eye there. We'll be careful not to take the eye blink all the way to the bottom because as I mentioned earlier on, part of the blink actually happens with your bottom eyelids as well. So the bottom eyelids are controlled with a squint which you'll find in the eyelid muscle. So the timing of the eye blink is going to depend on what kind of eye blink it is. Obviously we get various kinds. You get the fast one which is the flutter eye blink, you know when you're in love. And then you get a slower eye blink when someone's maybe tired uh, or they're yawning or something like that. Uh, we're going to focus on sort of a normal day-to-day -day eye blink. And so in terms of timing, bearing in mind we're using 24 frames per second here, we're going to allow one frame to close the eye. We're going to hold the eye closed for two frames. And then it takes a bit longer to open up the eyelids, so we'll allow two frames to open up the eyelids again. So it's one frame, two frames, and two frames. That's what I'm going to be using. And we can obviously manipulate the timing once we've set the keys. And finally, let's look at how to change the direction of the eye. That's actually very easy. You can also do that in the face key editor. All you got to do is find the spot in the timeline where you need to change the eye direction. And then you got to go to the eye look muscle. And you can literally just decide which way you're going to look the eye uh, by pulling the slider. In our case, we're turning the eye, uh, look left, we're putting that slider up. And then of course the right eye will also be looking left. It works very well when you actually change the direction of the eye when the eye actually blinks. So when the eye closes, that's the best time to change the direction of the eye. What I also do is I actually change the transition curve to a step key. Uh, so there's no actual ease in and ease out of the eye direction change. Just a last note before we save our eye blink, and that's around the eye mask. As I've already mentioned, the eye mask is made up of the eyebrows, the top lids, the bottom lids, as well as the top of the cheeks and the nose itself. So when you do change the eye direction of your character, remember to animate the entire face or eye mask as a whole. In this particular example, we have our character looking towards the left hand side, and you'll notice that the entire eye mask speaks of that. You can see the line of action as she's looking. Look at the eyebrows, the one has dropped more than the other, and you'll notice the one eye looks bigger as well, which again creates life in the character, and, and as I mentioned, it ties back to the animation principle of the line of action. Um, so just bear that in mind when you do animate the eyes in any direction, that the entire eye mask complements that. So to save an eye blink would be the same as saving any facial expression. Uh, and as I've shown you over the last couple of weeks, there's a number of ways to save the facial expression. So I'm not going to go into that. What I want to show you is how easy it is to actually reuse the eye blink. And we sort of looked at that earlier on today. But let's apply our eye blink onto our friend uh, Corporate Carl here again. And then let's see how we can manipulate the eye blink to suit any need. So to add the eye blink onto our character, you can literally either double click on the actual saved eye blink animation, or you can drag and drop it onto your character. An eye blink, like all the other facial expressions, can also be manipulated and edited. Um, so you can, after adding the eye blink animation onto a character, you can either shrink the actual animation to speed up the eye blink, and you'll have something like this. And then of course you can also slow down the eye blink by dragging out the animation as we're doing here. And this uh, looks like Carl is very tired. As with any other facial expression, and I've mentioned this over the last couple of weeks, you can reuse these animations and they can suit any desired need. And that's it for this particular video. Not only for this video, but the three-part series on a head animation turn. I hope you guys got something out of it. And then if you guys enjoyed this particular tutorial, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to get this particular eye blink free of charge, let me know in the comments below. If there's enough people requesting for it, I will definitely make it available for free. But for now, I'm out of here. I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.